So in this video, I will talk about how to get your running cadence in Strava and Training Peaks with an Apple Watch. The strange thing is that the Apple Watch is actually recording a lot of data you can use to record your running cadence, but it's not visible in either Strava or Training Peaks. I will explain you how to do that. Um, before we do that, we have to talk a little bit about ways to record your run if you're using an iWatch. Now, there are actually two options here. The most common option is using the built-in workout app, which is made by Apple. It's a pretty good app. There's lots of customization options and you can sync your workouts from, for instance, Training Peaks to that app. So it will tell you what to do and it will give you visual instructions and whatnot. Um, so that's probably the most popular way to go. Alternatively, you could use another third-party app on your iWatch, like Strava or Work Outdoors or any other app, and that app will upload to Strava as well. So now let's go over these two routes and talk a little bit about the pros and cons and how it works. Now, if you're using the Workout app route, which most people will do, then once you finish the run, first of all, your iWatch needs to be close to your phone. Why? Because it will sync your run to the Apple Health app system on your phone. And once it's done with that, you can hook up Strava, Training Peaks, whatever, whatever platform you're using to the Health app. And then the Health app will push that workout to either Strava or Training Peaks or whatever. Now, if you uh, look for your workout in the Health app on your iPhone, and you'll go into the details, which are pretty hard to find, but I did this for you, you'll see that it will show you some metrics that, uh, that are about your cadence. Strangely enough, it will not tell you your actual cadence, but it will tell you your actual stride length, your, the number of steps, and your vertical oscillation, but it will not tell your cadence. That's very strange. I don't know why that is, but what I do know is that once the workout is actually pushed from the health app to Strava or Training Peaks, you'll lose cadence for some reason. So that's not what we want. Now, there is an alternative route, which is using a native app like the native Strava app. Now, I tested this out and uh, unfortunately, there is still no cadence, but there is one big pro, and that is that it will upload the workout without the phone. So once you press stop workout and finish workout, the iWatch will actually upload the run to Strava, provided that the device has internet. So it needs to be connected to Wi-Fi, or maybe you have the iWatch with the built-in internet, and then it will actually upload the run, which is good, but it's not what we want. We still don't have cadence. Now there are third-party apps out there, like uh, the Work Outdoors, which is a really good app that actually transfer cadence. So with this one, um, you're using the Work Outdoors app to do your run, and then you will be able to sync directly to Strava without the interference of health, which means you don't need internet on your, your, your iWatch. You do need internet on your watch, obviously, but you don't need your watch to be close to your phone in order to upload to Strava. Now, when it comes to uh, syncing with Training Peaks, it's a little bit different because Work Outdoors does not have a direct connection with Training Peaks, so the only way to get your data in Training Peaks is uh, via the Apple Health app, which means you have to connect your Work Outdoors to Apple Health on your phone, and uh, the iWatch needs to be close to your phone, then it will upload the workout to Apple Health, and then Apple Health will push the um, the, the data to Training Peaks as well. The good thing about this route is you will actually have cadence. So this app actually pushes cadence to Strava and Training Peaks. Um, however, it will only do that uh, in the Strava route because in the Training Peaks route, the Apple Health app is used as an intermediate, is an, as, a, as a hub, as an intermediate station really, and then you will lose cadence. So only in the Strava route you will have cadence, right? Um, now, there is a way to get it done, and that is uh, an app called HealthFit, 
It's a paid app. You can find it in the App Store for about $6.99, at least in my country. And uh, this is the route that I'm using and that you could be using as well. So I like to use the Workout app, the native Workout app by Apple. Why? Well, because first of all, I can sync my workouts from Training Peaks. I think the app looks uh, pretty good. So I want to keep using the Apple Workout app. And uh, that means that in order to upload my run, I need to be close to my phone. Um, for me, that's fine. I don't really care about that, um, but you know, some people might do, so then you must go to the work outdoors route, which doesn't require your phone to be close to your iWatch in order to upload. In my case, I need to, to be close to my phone. Then I unlinked Strava from Apple Health, and I also unlinked or disconnected really Training Peaks from the Apple Health app, which is a crucial step. Otherwise, um, you will have uh, um, duplicate workouts, which you don't want. So I unlinked Strava and Training Peaks from Apple Health, and I've created an extra layer. And the Apple Health Fit app is that extra layer. So you just download the app on your phone, not on your iWatch, but on your phone. And um, then you just connect in, in the Apple Health Fit app, you connect the platforms, every platform that you want, there are many more platforms out there. And the only thing you have to do is make sure the app's running. So I just make sure it's running. Once you finish the workout, you get home, the iWatch will connect to Apple Health, the, and then the Health Fit app will get the data from Apple Health, and it will actually transfer cadence to Strava and Training Peaks. It might sound a little little complicated, uh, but actually it's um, it's very easy. Now there is one last thing that you should know about Work Outdoors app. What's really nice about the Work Outdoors app is that it, that it has mapping as well. So if you want to run a route in a place that you don't know, you can actually um, upload a GPX file or create a GPX file yourself using your favorite route planner, and then it will give you. Um, not turn by turn directions, you just have to follow the chevron, but it, it works really, really well. Especially if you are in an area that you're not familiar, you can just make a route and follow that route. And you can even do an interval trainings um, while following that route. The only downside for me of the Work Outdoors app is that it doesn't sync interval training or, or, or workouts from Training Peak. So, uh, most of my workouts are structured workouts and I work with a trainer. That would mean if I want to use the Work Outdoors app, I have to copy uh, or manually create every single training and then uh, put it in Work Outdoors. There is no sync option yet for the workouts. If that uh, would be possible, that would be awesome because then you would have a direct upload to Strava without uh, the watch being close to the phone. You would have maps uh, and you would have cadence in Strava and as soon as the watch is close to your phone, you will also have the data in Training Peak with cadence. So that, um, um, that, that's really useful. Um, well, I hope it was helpful and uh, thanks for watching.